what are the best studying tips for physical therapy? So if you're going into the PTA program or the PT program, what are some studying tips that can help you along the way? What's up guys, my name is Antonio and this is Megan and we both work in physical therapy and in this channel we talk about everything you need to know about physical therapy. And in this video we're going to be talking about what are some studying strategies that you can implement if you are going to be attending the PTA program or the PT program. So one of my professors gave me this book, it's called Make It Stick. It talks about the science of successful learning which is great. It uses research to tell us what are the best study habits that we could use. So we're going to talk about a few of them today because I think they're very valuable but if you want to read the book for yourself or know what all the strategies are we're gonna put a link in the description so that you can access it one of the first things you have to understand is you have to embrace the difficulty so when you're either going into the PTA program or the PT program they're very hard and they're challenging so the first tip is to embrace it um, so sometimes people in my class and I'm sure probably yours as well they get maybe timid to raise their hand in class to answer a question because they don't want to get it wrong or they don't want to seem foolish but um a strategy to use is just understanding that it's going to be difficult and it's going to be hard but that's okay because in the difficult times is when learning happens it's when you're challenged it's when you're um when you're faced with a difficult situation that you break through and that's when true learning actually happens so even though learning can be difficult one of the strategies we can use is called spacing and all that means is that you're learning information, taking a break and going back to it. So whether you're practicing a skill that we learn in physical therapy, hands-on, or information, practicing it, even when you feel like you haven't mastered it yet, taking a break and then doing it again. So I know a lot of my classmates, one of the things they would do is mass study. So the night before a test, they would cram a bunch of information in their head and then take the test. And it doesn't mean that you won't be successful on that test. But the thing about this profession is that it's, or the, the schooling, it's gonna be your profession. And and so if you actually want to help yourself learn it for the long run when you go to take the boards or when you go out there to practice, it would be much more helpful if you space out your practice. And when you're taking time to space out your learning periods, a helpful tip that when you're in those moments is to practice retrieval, uh, which is just like quizzing yourself. A lot of times people, when they study, they'll read through their notes and they'll say, yeah, I think I got it, I understand it, and they'll just go in for the test. But a strategy to use before that is actually to quiz yourself, to put it away, to use flashcards, something like that. That can be really helpful when studying it. Um, so we'll link up some flashcards in, in the description as well, like for um, I know uh, one of your subjects you have to learn when going into physical therapy is learning muscles and their origin, their insertion, their action, their innervation. So all of those things you have to learn about all the muscles in your body and so that can sometimes feel overwhelming but when you're quizzing yourself with flashcards or they also have an app at, on the app store that you can download and then quiz yourself right off your phone, um, those are helpful tools and strategies to use while you're studying. I know when I was in PT school, a lot of my friends studied differently. One of my friends would write down everything the professor said during class, so she would have tons of notes on the topic. Some of my other friends would read like any book they could find about the topic. They would do a lot of reading. Um, some of my friends would highlight, right? Their book looked like a rainbow of any different color and everything but and, if, and but was <laughs> highlighted. Um, so there, even though there's a lot of different ways that we tend to learn, just remember it's not about memorizing the information. It's about actually understanding it. So some of the ways that that can be um, easier to make sure you're doing is summarizing. So if you learn something for the day in class, can you go home and summarize what the professor was talking about? Or can you summarize the main points? Um, one of the other ways is like reflecting on it. Can you sit back and like think about if you took a test, maybe like what, what you did wrong, what you did good with, what you, know, what you could have done better. And those kind of skills can carry out through even when you're practicing with patients. So I even do this now. When I see a patient after they leave, I, it's automatic for me now to think, what could I have done better? What did I do well with? And what could I do for next time? It's just automatic in my mind when I see patients. And at the end of the day, it's not about learning information just to pass the test or to pass your boards or whatever that might be, but it's to actually apply that information. So you're gonna be using this information in your treatment sessions with patient care, handling, safety, how to use equipment, like all the knowledge you're learning through the PTA program or the PT program is to be utilized afterwards while you're actually 
in the field. Um, so that's all we had for you on some tips. Uh, let us know in the comment section what are maybe some of your funny or goofy or normal uh, study strategies that you use to pass tests. And uh, like the video if you found it helpful. And then uh, we'll talk to you later then. Peace. <laughs>